Yeah, I just replaced all the brake lines on this. It's a 04 uh, Silverado 2500 HD. Um, they got a problem with them rusting out and uh, just replaced all the lines on it. And I've struggled with every one of these Silverados with getting them bled. Uh, trying to do it the old fashioned way after I have a line breaking and get too much air in the system. So I uh, pressure bleed them and I've done this two ways. The first time I tried it, I took a, I went to a rise and bought an extra cap and drilled a hole and um, put a valve stem in it and then I would pump that up and then it would pressurize the chamber and then it would uh, I'd, well I basically would pressurize it with the bleeder open and then I'd stop and go back and shut the bleeder then move on to the next wheel and that's how I finally got one that I could not get bled to finally bleed since then I've uh, moved on to this wonderful glorious contraption I have here which uh, uses my leak down tester, which I'm basically just scavenging for the uh, for the regulator, and uh, it's got a shutoff valve on it there. But and then I got a plate that I can clamp to basically any master cylinder. I uh, just got a hole in it with pipe thread on it. This one I have clamped to the cowl just to hold the back side, and then I'm clamping the front side with one clamp. Sometimes you can clamp two clamps if you got two. Um, two caps or a front and a back you got to clamp down on the whole thing and then you'll have to turn it around to do the other you know the other section but these kind of share a common um, reservoir so it works for this I use a closed cell foam like a, actually maybe open cell foam I don't know uh, it's water pipe insulation is what it is though that works for my gasket to seal the plate to the reservoir it does not take very much pressure at all I mean all you're simulating is hand pressure that's all it takes to seal that but uh, I usually just crank it up to about five pounds this is showing 10 I don't know if it really has 10 in it but you don't get crazy because those are a plastic reservoir and um, if you do it like I was saying with a, a valve stem you'll watch that thing swell up and shrink down and swell up and shrink down and uh, but anyways I've got 10 pounds to it right now I've already done one side so this side should go a little quicker but I just want to give you an idea how quick this works it's a one-man operation just make sure you don't run out of fluid but so that's pressurized I started at the right rear because that's the farthest from the uh, from the reservoir and we're gonna go back here actually I'm gonna get on the other side of it so I don't get sprayed in the face because it will spray you in the face So we're gonna crack this open. And right now it's running fluid out. I expect it will start spitting air out here in a second. There we go. Puking a little bit of air. I'm actually running a pretty good stream already. I should have showed the other side. You notice the fluid is just running out of there though because it's pressurized on the back side. Um, that's showing clean fluid. Let's uh, let's go look at the front one. So it already blew the other side, so that may not have had a tremendous amount of air in it. All right, around to the front. So again, we're starting at the farthest and working our way closer. This one's probably gonna spray me. Oh, there she goes. You can uh, make whatever jokes you want about that. As it gets the bulk of the air out though, it'll settle down. I haven't used four ounces of, or wait, I should say wasted four ounces of fluid yet. It's still pushing air out. There it is, looking pretty pretty good a little bit more air coming out there now we're gonna call that good um 
I'm not going to film the rest of it, but that's the gist of it. It's going to take me less than 10 minutes to bleed this whole truck. And you might go ahead and do it the old-fashioned way after you get done, but this will get fluid to all the master cylinders um, pretty quick. And hell, let's just see what this last one does right, right quick. I already got the tire off, so. But it gets fluid to the master cylinder, or the, to the uh, calipers or whatever um, pretty quick, and then it you're not wasting time pumping the pedal and wearing your wife out or your helper. My wife's a designated pedal pumper. Alright, we're still pushing air. What I'll do when I get done is I'll top the fluid off and pump the pedal and then I'll go through it one more time and it's honestly probably going to be fine. We've got a good solid stream right there, so just that easy. Have a good one.